Hello everyone, this is Dhruvajati and welcome back to HackCert. So today in this video, we'll be taking a look at a tool named HashCalc, which can be used to calculate file checksums as well as it can be used to calculate the hashes of any text as well. So this is a this is basically an all-in-one tool and uh, it can not only calculate the MD5 checksum or the MD5 hashes, but it can also calculate other types of algorithm hashes as well, such as SHA-1 or SHA-256, etc. So stay tuned and in this video, we'll be showing you how it works. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so that you remain notified each time we upload a video. So let's start off with how to download the tool. So for this, open up your favorite browser and go to google.com and search here for HashCalc, all right? S A H S S H A S H C A L C. So, and the first website that appears that is slavasoft.com or slavasoft, whatever you choose to call it. Open that website. Now, this is a very basic looking website, not like the modern ones. And you can simply go up to the download section. And here you can see over here it says that uh, Windows 9598 MENT 2000 XP Hashcalc 2.0.2.02. All right. So you can click on this uh, version over here, or you can simply select the download option over here. And this will basically download a zip file with a set of .exe file in it. You can simply extract that zip file, and you can simply double click that. Uh, setup.exe file to simply install the tool. It is a very small tool and uh, let me show you the download size. Yeah, it is only 465 KB. So it is very small and the tool inside it is also very small. Now once you have installed the tool, you can simply, uh, it will create a shortcut icon on your desktop. You can see over here, this is the Haskell tool. You can simply double click it and it will open up uh, this kind of an interface for the first time you'll see under this data format section over here it will be uh, file will be selected now let's say you want to calculate the hash of a certain file again for this particular video as well we'll be taking example of this python script which is over here now simply uh, select first first you need to select file under the data format section and under the data section you can simply just uh, tap on these three dots over here this will open up the explorer now just choose the location wherever the file whose hash you want to calculate exists in this case since it is in the desktop we are selecting desktop and just locate the file over there all right let's see over here where is the file over here so you can see and just click open now you can see that the location of the or the directory or the location of the path has been of the file has been set and now over here you can see that a lot of hash options are available like md5 we saw the md5 sums tool which is this one in one of the previous video you can go and check it out here's the sha1 sha256 sha512 now after md5 sha1 sha256 and sha512 are the most uh, commonly used hashing algorithms so you can simply choose whichever one you want to calculate or you can uncheck or check whatever you feel comfortable uh, over here i am selecting md5 and sha1 sha256 and sha512 and you can simply uh, tap on this calculate button and as you can see that it has calculated the hashes now the md5 hash uh, the length of the md5 hash is the smallest then is the SHA-1, then is the SHA-256, and at last is the SHA-512. So basically, if uh, uh, the if let's say you have a text, for example, in this case, we, are, we have chosen the file option. Now let's check with the text option. Text string, all right? Now type in anything over here. In this case, we are typing in hello, for example, H-E-L-L-O. And let's say if, uh, we have selected MD5, SHA1, SHA256, and SHA512. And just tap on calculate. All right. Now, since this is, an, uh, this is a very common English word, hello. And if you choose to encrypt this uh, particular English word. Uh, oh, let's calculate that once again. Yeah. 
if you choose to encrypt this particular english word with uh, let's say md5 then the length of the hash will be this much and you can see that the length of the sh 512 hash is this now cracking the md5 hash will be a little bit easy compared to cracking the md sh 512 hash because the length of the sh 512 hash is obviously larger and it is always better to encrypt your data using an hashing algorithm that is not widely used like for example md5 is the most common one and there are you know if most most of the times uh, an md5 hash is very easy to uh, crack whereas if you go down the once the length starts to increase the difficulty of it being cracked also increases all right so in this case for the same word hello md5 hash will be a bit easy to crack compared to SHA 512. So it is up to you as to which one you want to choose. Most popular websites like uh, say Google or Facebook, they'll obviously choose an algorithm that is uh, hard, difficult, very difficult to crack. Like for example, if they were given a choice between MD5 or SHA 512, they'll definitely choose SHA 512 over MD5. The big, obviously because SHA 512 will, will be a lot difficult to crack and users data will be stored in a much better way as well so that was a quick look as to how you can use hash calc now this is one of the most this is the most popular uh, hashing calculator used in the cyber forensics field uh, so i thought about uh, introducing this tool to you guys now obviously there is a there is the write up of this particular tool uh, available in my website the link is in the description you can go ahead and check it out over there i have given a step-by-step -step guide also this video will be embedded in that so if anybody is watching from the website they will get this video over there as well so that's all about it and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace